In 1995, I traveled across the whole of Russia with this photographer named Gary Matoso. And Gary had wanted to start with this remote lighthouse in Vladivostok. So we started there and we met the people who were the lighthouse keepers. And then we made our way westward 5,000 miles over the course of the next three months. Along the way, we met a lot of really incredible people. We met a farmer who slaughtered a sheep for us in our honor, and we met the research scientists who study Lake Baikal, and the Jews of Birabijan, and a couple of sisters in Chelyabinsk, and a rap star in Moscow named MC Pavlov. And it just felt like a once in a lifetime trip. So 10 years later, in 2005, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do this once in a lifetime trip a second time? So this time I went with a photographer named David Hillegas, and he and I went over three months and tracked down all the same people I'd talked to before. The lighthouse keepers, the farmer, the research scientists, and the sisters, and the Jews of Birbijan, and the rap star, and we found them all again, and we talked to them to find out how they were doing. Russia had really changed. Putin was the president now. The economy was doing really well, and most of the people that I talked to were doing a lot better than they had been 10 years earlier. In 2015, I decided to do this once-in-a-lifetime trip for a third time. So I went back through and I found all the same people. And this time around, the economy was not doing so well. The ruble had collapsed. Anti-American sentiment was very, very high. And I really didn't know how I would be received 20 years after, you know, intruding on these people's lives for the first time. Russia's in the news every day now. But who really are the Russian people? What do they think about Vladimir Putin? And what do they think about us? I write about all three trips and explore all of these questions in my new book, Bears in the Streets. Mm -hmm.